large crystal cluster that is mutated with a spacecraft, appeared as a mirage. There is a green planet nearby. Are we already there? Inside the mutated crystal spacecraft, is a room with weapons on the walls, and a gang or group who will equip themselves with the weapons. They all have high boots, the dudes have trousers with a tank top, and the girls or ladies have short wide cheerleader-like skirts with petticoats under and a girly princess top. They all have cat ears on their heads, both dudes and ladies live in cat ears, with long hair, so that the men look like romantic heavy metal dudes, and the ladies becomes extra released kitty cat girls with makeup. A large muscular man from the behind tries to put a belt on a brunette kitty cat lady who stands wide-legged. A strap slides up between her legs, and lays tightly on under her, which becomes tighter and affects her. <laughs> when he fiddles with the strap, he touches her panties so it tickles in her. His fingers are not shy with the close contact and she is still wide-legged. You know that those weapons do nothing. If there is one like me on that planet, Mia. We are Marines! A door opens behind. A large glossy room appears behind a gothic arch opening, with many hexagonal UFO-shaped spacecrafts of solid crystal. But it would have been good, if there was better lighting than small luminous things. One of six walls on a hexagonal UFO becomes an opening as on a boat, and the gang is on their way into the hexagonal spacecraft. Are you also coming along? Meow. Haven't I slept enough? It's nice and cozy inside the hexagonal spacecraft. It's like a sofa set around the middle part as there are soft pillows of fabric or fur. Partly a sofa back. The back of the sofa are the walls of the spacecraft. Pandora stands in the middle. A small hexagonal spacecraft leaves a larger crystal cluster to mothership. A kitty cat girl sits wide-legged right opposite to a dude, she must be completely unaware of that her turquoise panties with lace is completely visible with its fully glory. Huh? The blonde kitty cat girl lies down in the seats very wide-legged, with relaxed hands above her head so her chest becomes two round mountains. A guy next to her puts his hand on her stomach and the hand strokes down on her little pink skirt. His fingers slides on her body down under. On her panty a few times, up and down. While she is as wide-legged, she mysterious enough becomes completely relaxed. It twitches in her cat ears as the only reaction to it all. Meow. And she enjoyingly stretches with her upper body. <coughs> Another kitty cat girl jumps up on a lying dude, to sit straddle on him like a kitty cat. Meow. The hexagonal spacecraft travels zigzaggy, in a jerky way, down to the planet's green structure. At every jerky movement, several. <coughs> If you are wondering why UFOs always go zigzagging, there is an open meadow in the dense primeval backwoods. One of six walls on the hexagonal spacecraft opens. A satisfied and dazed brunette kitty cat lady with messy hair gets up very fast. Good boy, meow. Another satisfied brunette looks out from the spacecraft. Pandora is on her way out. I feel a presence of someone who is like me. To the right of the spacecraft is a gigantic tall tree, which is right next to a gigantic high stone wall. Ooh, ah. Yippee. Three kitty cat girls jump girly up to the tree, and begin to claw on the tree, like kittens. These kitty cat girls stands very wide-legged, and stretching for their upper part, completely unaware that their panties are visible, like colorful candy. The blonde kitty cat lady climbs fast up the tree like a cat. You see anything? Up there? Meow? A bunch of predators have just finished playing a beat on their drums. King Predator with flowers in his hair. <laughs> Et 
something comes flying straight towards where the blonde kitty cat girl sits in the tree. Huh? The force of the hit makes her bounce backwards like rubber, so she can see the sky. Whoa! Yeah. She lies very cartoonishly spread eagle. Avoid losing bigger body parts so you are okay. Otherwise, there will be other tunes. Strange. I was just thinking about asking it, meow. The blonde kitty cat lady touches her forehead, which has an imprinted mark of a brick. <laughs> She gets up, squinting and falter, she see about three of everything this moment, and she moves 110% completely dizzy in the hat strange. What's that? She crouches forward to study something on the ground. A thorny thing hanging from other trees flies past above her. She makes a high step, while a metallic trap misses her from the ground. She falter backwards, so a big thing with thorns misses her when it rises up. She crouches forward, another thorny thing flies past above her. Huh? She looks up and falter backwards. She stands wide-legged like a question mark, looking with no focus straight ahead in a neutral state. Huh? To wait in what will happen. An elongated hammer stuck in the ground. Um. Ah! Hits deep in her pussy so hard that she bounced high up like rubber. <laughs> She crouches forward and she rubs her pussy with her fingers. An unexpected resistance of sluggish rubber made it so sluggish so it got stuck. Wow, you absorbed the whole hit very deep. Good girl, it worked. Meow. The blonde kitty cat girl who is completely unharmed gets up and her cat ears twitch when she says, Lucky me, I'm a lady, no harm done. Meow. Her cat jeans reacts strongly to what just happened. But there is an opening, over there. There is a small, arched opening in the high wall. The group enters through the opening in the wall. A close-up at the elongated hammer head, which has stopped working and is stuck in a position. There is an open, down-pressed, hexagonal surface on the other side of the gate. Large rectangular stones stand stacked in front of us in a long row. They are big enough to hide behind. What did you see, up there, meow? The blonde kitty cat girl looks questioningly up, wide-legged with a few fingers in her mouth, and with a neutral state, she wait in, for what will happen. Huh? <gasps> the hit is so hard that she bounces backwards, like rubber, Whoa! and the brick bounces away from the hit with something bounceable. She lies very cartoonishly wide-legged down and her arms sideways, so her chest becomes two round mountains. Ah, oh. oh, so it was the one in the middle? Poopsie. She touched her forehead, which now has two imprinted marks of bricks. She gets up and search with her eyes, upwards. Where did that brick come from, meow? With a scared embarrassed gaze, upwards. She unconsciously sucks on some fingers, while she wait in what will happen. Huh? <laughs> Apparently she bounces even more, the harder she gets hit, <laughs> with one leg in the air, and her head looking at the sky. She bounces a little, and she lies down very wide-legged, <sighs> so wide-legged that her panties are visible, and her chest becomes two round mountains. <laughs> now there is also a V-shaped imprinted mark of a brick right in the middle of her forehead. Yeah, talk about a solid bullseye. She squints a lot and touch her forehead. I have to praise the one who has this accuracy. These are exact hits every time. Poopsie. Ouch. It's funny that Jennifer enjoy to bid on herself. Yeah, you really can absorb tougher forces of hits with heavier objects instead of letting things break. She is still laying very wide-legged down so that her panty are visible. I feel more like a pillow to lie on, meow. A guy extends a hand to Jennifer to lift her up. We can be pillows with each other a little later. <coughs> Around 10 green electric laser beams come straight through us. The injured gang hides behind some oblong castle stones to exhale a little, as most of us have many laser shot wounds all over their body. The Gothenburg goof who was never hit, 
gets up. He sits down and loads the rifle with his crystal he had around his neck. He stands up, but when he's going to fire. <gasps> Why, blue laser? Next to the stone wall where the gang half lies, and around the depressed hexagonal place and a bit up, is a narrow road to go around the large area. Some predators up there decide to shoot some green electric laser beams with the help of elongated sticks towards the Gottenberg goof. Something green and self-illuminate is at the end of the sticks. When the rays are going to hit him, a large barrier is created around. So the green beams bounce on the barrier wall. It's Pandora who has appeared from nowhere in her broken fossil clothes, who created the barrier. They have some kind of cloaked camo. <gasps> Where did you come from? Pandora becomes surprised at Yennefer for a second, and gets back to normal again. The predators abruptly stop shooting at the barrier and become visible. We have one of your kind. Do you want your weird friend? The marine group who sits behind the oblong castle stones, discovers that their laser beam wounds are just holes in their clothes, their bodies don't seem to have any holes at all. Ha, ha, ha. On the other side of the depressed place from where we stand, is an elongated gothic stone structure with a tiled roof, and some visible predators walks up on some stairs into the gothic stone structure. They want us to footloof! 